Hey fairy friends, so I decided to switch it up a little bit today with a seance wig and today we are going to be talking a little bit about my shades collection, yes, and it's going to be a very chill video, we're just going to be talking about probably where I got them, if I have a little story about them or whatever, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first one that I'm going to be showing is R, my Sunny's yellow shades, and I love them so much. They just go with like, wow, they're like floating right now. I'm just gonna not attempt, or my wig will be snatched. But yeah, okay, let's put it this side. They go with almost everything, and they just look really cool. So I, my dad got me these uh, December of 2018 in Cebu, in Ayala, and I love them so much. So next shades, pair of shades, are these. They're so dirty, but the, these pink ones called Lulu. And I have uh, black ones too that I wear all the time, especially in school. So I got these from Shopee and I love them so much even if they don't have like UV ray protection because they're just adorable. Everyone I think needs like some kind of heart cat eye shades. Probably just gonna say shades wrong the whole time like pair of shades i'm just gonna go with shades because you know we're literate <laughs> we're illiterate <laughs> okay next these white cat eye frames that i got at ruby and they were actually bought for me by one of my relatives and I actually like them a lot. It's just that they've gotten looser over time. I think like they fell a couple of times and it cracked and it doesn't stay on as well as it used to. But I used to wear this like every Sunday. They just really cover your face up real nice. Gives you that, wow, look at me. B but also, I don't care. Kind of vibe, you know? Can you just... Ugh. I hate that my ring light is not as diffused as I want it to be. I wish it was like uh, just a little bit more smooth looking so my face wouldn't look shiny all the time. Anyways, okay, so the next one we have are my heart frames. Exposed. I'm gonna move a little bit closer. Are my heart frames that I got from Forever 21 in 2016 they were actually um, bought for me by one of my it was actually bought for me by one of my relatives and they used to have like this blue reflective tint in the front but I have no idea what happened like you know low quality so now you can literally just see my eyes and like it's kind of sad but it's ooh kind of matches the vibe but although i don't recommend it i just i keep it up just for the frames but if it weren't for the cute heart frames honestly i'd throw it away you can never have enough heart shaped frames and the next one are these tiny ovals which are dirty again with tiny they're like orangey from here i don't know if they look like pink to you they're black tiny frames that look like what number one from kids next door wears like that kind of vibe you know what i mean and i got them i don't even remember the name of the mall but you know that mall on the way to i think it's in tagaytay or past that but there was like this changge thing there and they had like so many shades for like 99 and it was like a buy one take one thing so my sister got one i got these 
because I didn't have my yellow oval frames yet at the time and I was obsessed with like that kind of vibe so I got these and I barely use them anymore but I do really like them a lot the next one are these tortoise shell ki kind of tortoise shell brownish uh, these like triangle tiny cat eye-ish frames I guess I have okay I got two of these from online as well from a uh, Shopee and yeah I got them about the same time around 20 20 summer of 2018 and oh yeah just for um not that anyone asked or anything but I got these around s s the same summer as well and these were around 2015 so this was a time when like tiny shades were just coming back into style so I was like you know why don't I get like some weird looking one and just you know wear them and the thing about these is <laughs> these kinds of frames is that when you wear them like that you just end up looking like some sort of alien so like if you're into that then go ahead but i look ridiculous like so i wear them like that which is low-key high-key impractical because you always have to be like hello so take note if you're gonna buy frames like these and i wore these when i had green hair and they looked so good but again the freaking way you have they have to sit on your nose it's just like you know and everything is like red when i wear these like yeah no crap but yeah and it hurts your eyes after a while so i usually just like kind of bring them and for photos i just wear them because i just don't want to see red everywhere and you know if you're into that then go the next pair of shades i'm going to be talking about are these because my aunt gave them to me for my, like a birthday gift in 2018 and you know coincident oh coincidentally i received them uh on the day that like we had the class picture because like my cousin gave them to me and they arrived with like this bag of blood kind of water jug type thing and i loved it so much so yeah these are my what my second favorite pair of shades and i wore them around so much in the second semester of freshman year that's why they're like super dirty and my sister just borrowed them a few days ago so yikes but i love them also some tiny shades and they don't look absolutely ridiculous when you wear them like that i mean okay that looks crazy but it doesn't look as bad you know so yeah that's a story for that so i hate wearing freaking wigs when i put on lip gloss but i figured that it would match like the aesthetic so i just went for it but holy freaking crap like i had to angle the fan a different way just so that this wouldn't like stick to this but, yeah. okay next pair of shades are these red cloud goggles and i also got them online my sister got white ones and i got the red ones because kurt cobain kind of thing and yeah I, I also love them but i don't wear them as much anymore although probably just because they they never really go with any of the things that i wear when i go out and also i barely go out during the day if any of you have already caught on with that i got these around 20 about early 2018 when i was in the 11th grade and i wore them to this like to call a foundation week at our school and i like them a lot it's just that they don't really go with a lot of stuff anymore but yeah 
So, we're nearing the end of this collection. This is one of the oldest pairs that I have. And by oldest, I mean around 2016 as well. These are one of the nicest ones too, even if they don't really go with anything that I wear anymore, I still like to keep it around because it's just such a unique pair of shades. And there are these pearl lined frames. Wow, you can see my setup. <laughs> pearl lined frames, let me show you. With like reflective lenses and they look really cool. And the power is like, wow, actually this goes really nice with this wig. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, I got these around 2016 in Glorietta at this place called, was it, I think it was, I can't remember if it was Apostrophe or Roy Jibiv. Yeah, I think it was Apostrophe and I was with um, some of my friends who were out after school and I got these. I don't remember how much they were for, but yeah, I really like them a lot. But like I said, it doesn't really go with a lot of the things that I wear anymore. Uh, yeah. So next. These aren't really like shades, but they're here. So we'll talk about them anyway, because why the heck not? So dirty. I got, oh, uh, these were a gift from one of my aunts again from around, was that 2016? Why does almost every pair of shades just look good with this wig? That, that's actually really cute. Okay, so... If some of you know me, you already know that I'm obsessed... Or at least I was obsessed with Harry Potter. Trying to ignore for a second who the author is. I mean, no, not a second. Forever. Forever now. Because... She's a turf. Yikes. Let's just pretend that they appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. Credits to a tweet that I saw. Anyways, so yeah, I got, uh, these were given to me around 20, 2016, on my birthday, in September, and I basically begged for them. I was like, please, please, please get me this and I was like, they're really cute, and I love Harry Potter so much. I've read every single book, and for some reason, some of the movies aren't as vivid to me anymore. Maybe it's because I haven't watched some of them with full attention. But yeah, every single book I read, I read, I started reading Harry Potter from around 2015 to like early 2017. And I loved it a lot. It was just my companion for such a long time because I was like such a shut in. <laughs> like around those times too like, I would barely go out of the house because I wasn't like I felt like I wasn't allowed and stuff like that so I would always read and read and read so yeah and I would show you this like poster of Sirius that I have here because he's one of my favorite characters ever yeah love Harry Potter love these glasses oh and a fun little story I actually wore these when I went to Universal Studios in Japan in the Harry Potter world part and it was so cool. There was this thing where you had to like do this this wand thing. I have no idea you have no idea what I'm saying if if you haven't been there, but it's like a secret thing where like you move around all of you have wands and everything and then like they choose one person, they're like, oh my gosh, you're the chosen one. And then I, and it was me, and I was like, oh my gosh. And at the end, I thought they were gonna give me the wand for free, and they were like, you can bar you can pay for this. For like, memories, and I'm like, crap, I don't have enough money. But yeah, it was a really cute, really cool experience to have that. It was like, living in my dream. And butterbeer tastes amazing, it's like, root beer. It's like frothy, creamy root beer. Just, just fixing that. I should have added freckles, huh? 
So if I didn't take long enough to get ready. <laughs> okay, second to the last pair of shades that I'll be talking about are these blue circular frames. Uh, my sister has some pink ones that are gold framed, but you know, yeah. I don't really like wearing that much gold stuff because I'm pretty pale, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm like a neutral skin tone as opposed to like super cold or like super warm. So yeah, but I find that silvers look better on me. So yeah. Do I remember where we got this? Oh yeah, wait, okay, I think I remember. I think we got these at Cebu, at this mall, called APM. You know, I might be wrong, I think these were given, but... Okay, either way, it's either from there or it was given to us. Wait, no, wait! I think my mom got these and gave them to us. Okay. I don't remember anymore, but we got these... Tw either late 2015 or early 2016 and for a long time I was actually really obsessed with circular frames because of how cute they look hence these and other shades that have been misplaced I actually owned a lot of aviators in the past but when I discovered other shapes of shades I realized that it doesn't really look good on me because I have a very round shaped face and e ugh, it's just on my lips again and aviators just kind of like block everything and I, look, I end up looking like some alien which isn't a bad thing but it, was, it didn't even look good so circular blue frames that I wore all the time and I wore these to Japan too and they looked so cute because the weather there was like spring and I would wear these and I'd feel like oh my gosh I'm in an anime yes you 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 may cringe you may cringe at that but I felt that I was 16 okay acting as if I wouldn't be like that if I actually went there, but yeah, I would. So the last pair that I'm going to talk about, and the freaking fan is making my wig go to my lips again, are these beautiful frames. Okay, so these are oval tinted frames that actually don't have frames. How cool is that? Or is this the frame? Oh, lenses. Like... These are probably, okay, so I said that I have like two favorite shades, but it's probably like four or five, and this is definitely part of the top five because they're just so subtly tinted, but it's so interestingly shaped, and it's so bendable, like it's so lightweight, and look how cute the pads, the nose pads are, they're like circular, so sorry of how I got these, I was saying in my aunt's room, Ants. <coughs> my aunt's room in Cebu and I asked her if I could have these because they were just collecting dust in a part of like her old dresser and she was like yeah sure so I got these around what was that I think summer of 2018 as well and I have been obsessed with them, but like I said, I don't really go out during the day, so I haven't been able to wear them that much. But regardless, I love them so much. And they just have this really cute vintage -y vibe. And let me just wear them again one more time because I just love them so much. Yes. Okay. Those are all my shades. And yeah, I plan on doing a lot more collection videos soon, but I feel like, you know, I need to collect some more stuff first. So yeah, I have some CD collections. Maybe I could do a CD collection, cassette tape collection, maybe even books and like chains and belts and everything. But you know, we'll get there. My throat's so scratchy. So yeah, uh, thank you for sitting through that. 
and I hope it wasn't too excruciating for 20 minutes but yeah I just wanted to be a really chill video where I just talked and showed some of my stuff so yeah remember to like subscribe turn on the notification bell share tap on the links 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 down below and as well as you know my song I'll still leave the links down below if you haven't heard it yet I promise I'm working on a new song right now and I'll release it as soon as I possibly can, but still, you gotta wait for it because patience is the key when, you know, making art. It's really difficult to rush. It's not like anyone's rushing me, but, you know, the voices. Real quick, I've mentioned before that, like, you know, I have one wig and I got it from online. This is that wig. And, yeah, I got these earrings online as well, summer of 2018 summer where i bought so much crap yeah and this bandana was a gift a gift uh and like christmas party i think it was from i'm i think it was 2017 or 2018 christmas party probably 2018 i think but yeah thank you i think it was therese who gave me this so thank you Thank you, Therese. <laughs> yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'll see you guys next week. I'm still gonna think about whatever it is I'm gonna make. But, yeah, I'm glad to have shared these with you. And I hope you're having a great week. I hope you had a great week. And I hope you're about to have another decent week where you take care of your mental health. And I'm going to take this off because it's almost 3 in the morning. Take care, everybody, and check the description box below, comment and share and everything. It means a lot to me that, that you support me and everything, so yeah. Thank you. Guys, could you see that? Like, just one of the hugest scratch slash bruises that I've had in a while. And I already have two scars on this knee, so yeah. A third one. <sighs> I want to own like a thousand wigs, and I also want to learn how to put on fake lashes because I want to give the full fantasy next time. Just modeling. <laughs>